Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss about uh, the module question paper one uh, and module question paper two and the solution. Like with respect to my notes, whatever I had prepared, so I will be giving the solutions. So solutions uh, that can be uh, if you have my notes, then uh, hopefully that will be better for you to study for exam. And since this is a common subject, uh, make sure that you have a, uh, enough uh, extra information in your mind uh, to add on. Why? Because uh, the syllabus is vast, uh, it's very huge, and uh, you might be uh, the one if, I, if we prepare notes for, uh, according to that, and if it is going beyond the uh, required information then definitely the notes will be very bulky so that's why uh, the notes have been made very short and neat so that uh, and the word is given uh, wherever there is a requirement of elaborating the answers uh, that you can do and uh, you can get them as for example if uh, i have uh, if the particular topic is been asked for seven marks imagine the content in my notes is around five marks then you can always extend that answer, okay? Because uh, the points which I have given are in such a way that they are always can be, uh, you know, for example, 10 points can be made as 15 or 20 points also, okay? So it is given in a short uh, manner that can be just elaborated so that you will get the, uh, the fixed mass you know, from the university, maybe seven mass or uh, eight mass or so. Something like that. <coughs> so let's see with respect to the uh, notes. I just saw the the model question papers. So this is the first model question paper, and uh, remember your subject is twenty one RMI fifty six, and the subject name is research methodology and intellectual property rights. Okay, and uh, definitely you will be knowing uh, the time for your exam is three hours, and the maximum mass is hundred marks. Okay. So the model one, we will start with the model one. In the model one, the first question is define the term research and explain the research flow cycle with a relevant diagram. So this is goes like this. So here is the first topic of the first model. That is introduction. What is research? Here I have given the definitions. You can write that as a definition. That will definitely carry one mark. Okay. And what they have asked is the explain the research flow cycle with a relevant diagram. So research flow cycle, it, does, it means the same topic we are having this diagram. Okay. So the same thing is explained here and the process of creating, formulating the knowledge that does not yet exist. There is also one kind of a definition. Okay. So and this diagram will help you explain see the topic whatever I've given is maybe uh, uh, of one and a half uh, notes okay but uh, that is it can be asked for let us say two questions so here at least one uh, what do you say one page notes is it so that cannot be written for seven marks uh, what we can do is we can extend answer how to extend answer just write down this diagram okay when you write this diagram if, and go back to the video which i have explained this topic okay and write, try to understand this topic so whatever the questions which have been given in the model questions go to my videos see those respective topics and then study because while explaining in video i have I would have told a number of points that you can note it down and then you can study for your examination. Okay. So, but this you can do only for three models because I have uploaded only three model videos uh, due to my busy schedule. I was not able to complete the five models this time. So, hopefully that are those videos might help for you guys. So, what you what can write is, uh, just briefly I will explain and uh, this is the definition of what you, have, what you have to write that you know and these are some of the introduction points here these are the points you can write 
and this is the main important point okay so here and when you would draw this diagram you see it start from the practical problem which the world is facing okay and that will motivate you to think about uh, how to question the research how to do the research what the research i can take what kind of topic i can take or which area i can select to do uh, to solve this particular problem or to solve this practical problem which the world is facing for example the world is facing the uh, uh, water crisis right so what i want to do is i want to have a water filter which can filter the sea water or heavy water heavy metal water also so what you can do what i can do i can search for the materials which can purify or which can remove the salt so recently if you remember or if you recall or if you are interested uh, about uh, research and all so recently uh, some of the universities like mit uh, and other universities oxford university some they have conducted a number of researches in that uh, one of the research suggests that the graphene okay this is two dimensional nano material that is with the help of the graphene they were able to remove the salt from the salt water that means Uh, in short they are going to remove the salt from the sea water so that is the ideal goal of their project and they in some extent they have su succeeded and uh, hopefully they will su uh, succeed in the future so that the world uh, the water crisis can be stopped understood so that is the practical problem water crisis that will motivate that motivated the research question okay and that defines the research project now the research project is purifying the salt water or removing the salt from the salt water by using the graphene and then that leads to a result or answer now the result is nothing but not 100% at least 50 to 60% of the salt has been removed that will be our result okay and then again that will help to solve the problem and then see again improvise your project improvise your uh, the materials what you use then you might get the result of your 90% or 80% and then definitely that will solve the practical problem in better way understanding so by taking one of the example and explaining this particular topic definitely will get you more points so even though if they ask for 10 marks you can able to answer this question understood so that was about the this thing then you can also write about uh, this uh, the building of the background of doing research includes one to acquire the ability to connect different areas so where different areas means multiple uh, multi disciplinary and then uh, also you can add these few points which are actually the additional points for this it uh, is essentially adding maybe smaller specific and original contribution to that of the existing body of the knowledge is nothing but research so research is about how one poses a question which has a relevant to the world that we are living in and while looking for that answer one has to be as systematic as one can be definitely the research has to be systematic so all those, those things can be uh, written and uh, here till here you can write this answer okay good question objective of the research uh, 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 what are question uh, research questions and through the uh, research one would make to you know make or develop or a new knowledge that will uh, somehow solve the world's problems and all so till here you can write the answer from here again if it is asked the question like uh, uh, <coughs> explain it for more marks and uh, with respect to the uh, categories also then you can start this answer also okay this is nothing but developing and accessing knowledge come in three ways so that is observation model uh, models are approximation and finally the uh, <coughs> arranging or doing things through the processes or algorithm way so that was about the model number model question number 1 so model question number uh, i mean uh, in, in model 1 in model 1 uh, the second question is what are the three broad categories of developing and accessing knowledge in research and explain with a diagram 
So, so definitely here also it starts with uh, this question only. So, your answer should start from here, not from the beginning. So, the ways of developing and accessing knowledge. See, the ways of developing and accessing knowledge in research. So, definitely that is the thing that you can start. And the first, there are three categories are there. First one is to observation. The second one is models which are approximated. And the final one is to category is to arrange or doing things through the process, algorithm, procedures and all. Here every, uh, how many masks they have asked? Seven masks. So definitely all the three points will have two, two masks each. And finally this diagram will carry one mark. So total seven masks. So simple, no need to worry much about it. If you want, if you feel like you want to extend the answer, please go ahead. So there are models. You can write these things in a point wise also that will elaborate or extend your answers. Okay. So that's how you are going to answer that. Okay. So till engineering research, you have the answer for that. So almost it is like one and a half page answer that is sufficient for the seven marks. So what are the key ethical issues related to the authorship and explain each one. So ethical issues. Objectives of engineering research, motivation, types of engineering research. <coughs> See, ethics in engineering research. This is the topic. Ethical issues are nothing but this one. And how many marks they have asked? Hopefully, uh, for six marks. Yes. So, six marks are uh, they have asked, and you can write it for. How many marks? How many points are given? One, two, three. Please do not write these references and these are in the exams because these are the references which should be given in the end of the reference so that it, that is not for you guys. That is only for me for writing uh, the textbook and all. So these are the two things uh, uh, you need to see, right? So what should be included as an author? Appropriate order of listing author. These all things comes under. Uh, the ethics while you are writing a research paper you cannot go for you cannot say that this particular work is only mine and i am publishing no there might be a number of the people who are helping you please include their name as an co-authors and if anyone uh, any labs might have helped you if anyone the supervisor has helped you always give the credit to them all those things okay you can elaborate answer next we are having the three different types of the, I mean, discuss the different types of the engineering research, clearly point out the differences between all of them with example. So, here engineering research, I think sufficient information given. There are four uh, types of the researches. Uh, this question has been asked for 10 marks, I guess. Yes, it is. And what you can do is, here there are three types, uh, descriptive versus analytical, applied versus fundamental, quantitative versus qualitative. So what you can do is uh, all the three things you can start doing. Okay. So every uh, topic has got around four or five points definitely, uh, but you can extend this answer. I have written it for only seven marks, but you can go for it for ten marks. Uh, definitely the points are there around uh, 10 points are there, those th that is sufficient for you to uh, get the mass, but always try to describe it, okay, like descriptive versus analytical, what is descriptive, what is analytical, keep on explaining what, what you understand, okay, so that is what uh, we can do, okay, for to get the 10 marks. Next, uh, list the different types of the research misconduct, okay. 
okay, and provide a brief explanation on each one. So, research misconduct is the topic. Okay, so here types of research misconducts are there. So, this is also asked for 10 marks. Please elaborate. There are four different uh, types of research misconduct. Uh, fabrication, falsification, plagiarism, and other species, uh, other aspects. So here I have uh, given in the bracket illegitimate creation of data. So for fabrication, generally you can write anything, right? How what is fabricated? And for example, you start uh, when you uh, were in college when they ask for you to write uh, do a project. Uh, instead of doing the project, if some of your groups uh, start fabricating the data, well, that means which is already published in some paper, you are taking that and you are keeping it in your project and you are showing that you have done this. And most of the students doing seminar will be doing, but do not do, I um, mean, please do not repeat that in project. Okay, that is comes under fabrication. And falsification is nothing but something is not right, but you are making it is right and you are telling it is right so that is false data you are saying then plagiarism you know already and other aspects of research misconduct every point will carry two and a half marks okay that you explain based on that okay in notes i have explained briefly <coughs> and you can add this part also how are the supervisors views or edit alerts the plagiarism all those things you can add like that will act as a solution for that other aspects of religion. Definitely, uh, he enough information is there for uh, this thing. Okay. Okay. Sorry, ethical issues related to the authorship. We discussed only ethical ethics in engineering research, but the topic is was this thing. So for that, I apologize. So a lot of similar topics. So ethical issues related to the authorship. You can read this. Okay, authorship. You need to give the proper authorship, okay, co authors, okay, and do not give simply the other names, all those things. And 10 points uh, have included, I mean, not more than 20 points are there. So, so this is enough for 10 marks, okay. And uh, that's about the module 1, right. So, module 2, we will discuss in the next class.